toes, ten little tapping toes. Oh. And when they hear a tune, hey, hey everybody. Welcome to Thursday evening swing, everybody. Into my shoes, because my shoes are few to ever grow weary. Uh, I keep cheerful on an earful. All right, everybody. We are live from Spokane, Washington. Give everybody a chance to chime in. Give us a little shout out if you're joining us. A little donkey playing in the background. Band we all love here in Spokane. A little happy beat. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. Let's get logged in. Get ready to dance. A little bit of normal for you here in Spokane at least. Hopefully you're doing well in whatever scene you are in. We're live on Swing Dancing San Diego. Our Instagram page. We're still trying to get a following on our Northwest Swing Dance Co. Here we go, here we go. All right, there we go. Hey, Phil. Hey, Ellie. Hey, Evelyn. Okay, very good, very good. All right, ladies and gentlemen, tonight, Thursday evening swing from Spokane. We are excited to bring you some Lindy Charleston tonight. And if we have any time left, we'll do a little swing workout, keep everybody moving and grooving. Although, Lindy Charleston can be a workout in itself. Um, so yes, it's Thursday night. Normally we are at the women's club here in Spokane and we do a lesson from seven to eight and then wonderful social dancing from eight till 10, but here we are. I am live with you via Facebook and Instagram in case you're joining in on Swing Dancing San Diego. Normally I go live every night for Joel's College of Swing Era Knowledge, Monday Jazz, Tuesday Charleston, Wednesday Lindy Hop and Jitterbug, Thursday right here, Thursday Evening Swing, Friday Shag, Saturday Balbo and Bell Swing, and Sunday Teachers and Organizers. So every week we put a poll out to our local community to see what they want to work on. And tonight they chose Lindy Charleston. So, all right, everybody's... Hey, 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 all right, people are coming in here. All right, so uh, let's get a started, shall we? So we're gonna work on some Lindy Charleston. So I just wanna make sure everyone's on the same page with this. So get up off the couch, get up out of your chair, and we are gonna start some Charleston back on the left foot for the sake of where we're going tonight with Lindy Charleston. So. You can watch the screen. I'm gonna turn around, I got the microphone going, so hopefully you can hear me. So let me know if you can't hear me or the music or if things aren't syncing up. I don't know if I can do this, help the sync up thing, but we'll see how we go. All right, so we're gonna go back on the left foot. Uh, back, step, kick, step, kick, and kick, step. Watch that from the side. Left foot back for everybody. We're gonna go. Back step, kick step, kick and kick step. If I count that from this angle, I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So uh, that kick on seven is gonna be kind of important with some of the stuff we're gonna do later. So from the front, I go back on the left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five from the side. And one, two, three, four, five. See, I told you it's a workout already. If you haven't done anything all day, here we go. Get your cardio in with the one, two, three, five, six, seven, and a one, two, three, five, six, seven. Now notice I'm here. My knees are bent. I got a nice little break in the hips as I go back in this in this rock stuff. So this is Lindy, Lindy Charleston posture. Actually, I'm gonna scoot this up just a little bit. I need to get one of those fish eye lenses for my uh Laptop. Okay, let me see if I come back here now. There we go. You can see that now. So I'm going to be here for my Charleston. I did a couple classes already in 20s Charleston where we're up here. So if I do that from the side, the 20s were up here. And then when we got into the 30s and 40s, we get down a little more in our Lindy hop and our Lindy posture. So we're going to keep a nice bend in our knees tonight. 
nice little break in the hips. And we're going to keep that posture as we go through and do the Charleston. Okay, so I wanted to start out tonight. Do, 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 do. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, I will be uh, sharing for the locals um, in our local dance groups the uh, Zoom link for the Shim Sham tonight. Again, we're trying to create a little bit of normal, and uh, but I don't want to just kind of blast that out to the world. We're going to keep it a little bit local. So I'll be posting that right, right after this broadcast. So um, hopefully you guys can get on that and then join us if you're local on the Northwest Swing Dance Company like page or group page, you'll get that. Uh, big, big, big news. Uh, Strictly Swing is now becoming Northwest Swing Dance Co. We're very excited about that. And we're going to do the Shim Sham tonight on the Zoom feed and a little Q&A. All right, Hopper. So, Jackie, do you want to show them what we're going to do tonight? <coughs> <laughs> Jackie literally just walked down. <laughs> Got She's got a baby in hand, so maybe we should wait just a second to get baby out of the hands before we jump into some Charleston. So here's what I want to do. I want to show you what we want to work on, and then I'm going to work on the quality of movement because I want to be mindful that I think a majority of people are home sans partner without a partner. And so I want to be able to do things with our own quality of movement, but talk about things from the leader standpoint and the follower standpoint. It's going to work out for everybody. But just so you can kind of see where we're going with this, I'm going to start with a classic move called the 10 count turn. So the 10 count turn is a very, very cool way to get into Lindy Charleston. Some people call it back Charleston, shadow Charleston, tandem Charleston, Lindy Charleston. It's just Charleston. So check this out. We're going to do a 10 count turn and then we're going to get into our basic um, I'm going to do a couple movements and then an exit, and we're going to cover all those things. And again, if we have time at the end of the hour, then we'll do a little bit of a workout. Da, 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 da. All right, so here we are. I'm going to be in a uh, closed position. And again, if you're at home without a partner, don't stress. Just watch this real quick. This is what we're going for tonight, and then I'll break things down. But we're going to do a 10 count turn, which looks like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ha! There's our Charleston. Yeah, and then we're in a really nice Charleston position here. Watch from this angle. So here I am, and I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Charleston. Can you figure out why it's called the ten count turn? Sure question. All right, but if I count it rhythmically, it's just going to be like a little tuck turn, boom, a little stretch, and then boom, creating that movement into the Charleston. Then we're just going to be in Charleston. Hop, we're going to work on a couple moves. Leaders coming front, hop, I shoot, hop, down, down. followers go in front, and then we're going to do leaders go in front with connected hands, hop, boom, followers come in front with connected hands, if we have time, a little egg beater, and back, and the exit is shoot, hop, deep, 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 hop, boom, yes. Okay, that's what we're going to work on. Um, I always had a hard time doing tandem. Not after tonight, and especially if you're home solo, you have no problems doing tandem. Your invisible partner never gets it wrong. Your invisible partner never gets it wrong. So if you get it wrong with your invisible partner, you know without a doubt it's 100% you. <laughs> okay, so um, let me go through. Now, here's what I want you all to do. Um, if you're, uh, as I go into the, the leaders movement or the followers movement, I don't care where you are at home, if you regularly lead or follow, I want you to do everything tonight. I want you to understand both roles. I want you to be able to dance everything, be ambifootress, be ambimovestress. So here we go. For the leader, for the leader, here's what's going to happen. You're going to go from closed position. So again, I want to be mindful of everyone's solo out there. But again, if you're normally following, you do your thing. You're going to you're gonna do exactly what we're doing so you can understand how to lead it if you ever want to lead. So I'm going to do a rock step back on my left foot and lead a tuck turn with kicks. I'm going to go rock, step, kick, step, kick, step. I'm going to send my partner out away from me. 
At this point, I'm going to lead my partner in a rock step, and I'm going to take my left foot, and I'm going to kick across. Watch this again. I'm going to go rock step, kick, kick, kick across as I'm giving the push for the rock step. So the followers are going to be rocking as you kick away, and this creates a really cool stretch to bring your follower back into you. So leads, let me go through the whole thing one time. You kind of see where I'm talking about. You're just going to do, I think it's four, um, four progressive kick. Uh, so what's the word I'm looking for? Four kicks in a row. How about that? I'm going to go rock step one, two, three, four, and back into the Charleston. Watch that from this angle, from the back. I'm going to go rock step, one kick, two kick, three kick across, four kick up, and back into the Charleston. So leaders, you're going to think rock step, kick, 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 kick. And if I count that, I'm going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and I'm ready for the Charleston. Okay, so again, leaders, everybody, everybody goes rock step, kick step, kick step, kick across, up, and boom. Now notice that last time when I counted the mantra, I said up. That's going to be important leads if you want to lead. Lindy Charleston successfully on the social floor to let your partner know what's happening in these moments. So um, when I do that last kick, watch my right hand. Watch my right hand. I'm going to go rock, step, kick, kick, stretch across, up. That's even off the screen, I think, in Facebook land. Up and down into the Charleston. Okay, that's the leader's footwork for the 10 count turn. Now, poof, I'm going to be a follower. Followers, this is really just kind of two basic what we would call jitterbugs or six count movements. So followers, again, everybody get up off the couch, off the chair. You're going to go back on your right foot. You're going to get a tuck turn with kicks. You're going to go rock, step, kick, step, kick, step. Now, here is where the leader is going to lead another rock as they're kicking across. You're going to feel a real good stretch here. So you're probably going to go rock step, and then you're going to feel that up of a kick, step, and now, boom, you'll feel that down into the Charleston. So followers, once again, you're going to go rock step, kick step, kick step, rock, go up and back. Now, if I count that for the followers, I go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we're back into the Charleston. If I can bring Jackie back in here real quick, just to show that together. But again, we want to be mindful of everyone dancing alone at home. So watch that connected with Jackie. So here I am, and I'm going to go rock, step, kick, kick. There's the stretch. Up, boom. Yeah, and watch that from this angle. Here I am. I have rock, step, kick, kick, stretch, up, boom. And since I have Jackie here, that last moment leads again. I'm going to really lead this up. So she's really going to feel this up of that last movement. And the up creates a down. So we come down into Lindy Charleston position. Now, what I love about this is um, there's one time I was at uh, Camp Hollywood, and I was watching Dave and Kim uh, doing a class on – Lindy Charleston. It was really funny what they said, but it's so true. It's like, you know, you're you know you're around a Lindy Hopper if like you're just kind of hanging out, and then like you go from you go behind and you get their hands, and you go into Lindy Charleston. You see how I drop down? So if you're if you're uh, with a Lindy Hop crew, then you come up and you go like this, and your your Lindy Hopper is gonna <laughs> do that and be like, oh, no big deal, it's Charleston. If if they don't know Lindy Hop. You're going to do that, and she's going to go, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> so, so it's just, this is one of those, um, you kind of know, you, you know when you get into this particular pattern for Lindy Charleston, we're going to get down into that nice Charleston. For me, when I'm leading socially, that up creates the down, and I have a really nice stretch when I do that kick across movement. Okay. 
Let's see, I could actually visualize what the leader would be doing. Yay! You could almost call in swing in tandem. Yep, swing in tandem, excellent. Consecutive kicks. Yes, thank you, Retta. Four consecutive kicks. Uh, la la la. Everything's looking good. No questions out there. All right, we got some people following us on Instagram. Okay, so that is without a doubt probably one of the most classic entrances to tandem. Back Charleston, Lindy Charleston, Shadow Charleston. Again, whatever you want to want to call it. So now we are in. Charleston. So now let's work on some movement. Notice when Jackie and I got to that position, both of us were back on the left foot. So the very, very start of class, I went through that very, very basic footwork of rock step, kick step, kick and kick, and everybody goes back on the left. Whether you're a leader or a follower, it's the same foot work. Okay, so now let's get into some of the movements. I'm going to put a basic in between each each movement. Here's what I mean by that. So from the back, here I am. I'm gonna do a basic rock step, Two, three, kick step, four, five, kick, six, and six, kick seven, step. Eight, one. Now I'm gonna do a turn where I'm gonna take my body, I'm gonna do a prep. I'm gonna go rock step, Two, three, kick four. step. Right? So here I am and I'm preparing to my right. So I'm looking at this wall. I'm gonna use that double kick of the right foot to come around. Kick Five, six, and seven, kick step. Eight. And now I'm ready for the basic. Rock step, kick step, Five, kick, six, and seven, kick eight. step. So I'm going to do a basic, and then I'm going to do this turn, and then back to the basic. Five, six, here we go. Basic. One, two, three, four, five, now six, seven, I one, two, with three, the four, turn, five, six, double seven, kick, and, one, and now I'm back Five, to the basic. Seven. So now if I'm here and my partner is in front of me, um, when we get into that Charleston position, I'm giving a slight up and in connection, and followers in general give a slight down and out. Again, we're not fighting each other, but we have a nice, what we call sticky hands or, or connection there. And so my arms, when I do the basic, I just got this nice flow. It's like, let me freeze the feet for a second, and I'm just going to... So I don't want to go like this. I don't want to be on like a tabletop and be all stiff. I have this nice, these nice little circles. And I'm in opposition. What I mean by that is when my left foot goes back, my left hand goes forward. Right? So as I do the movement, my left hand, right hand, like left sasquatch. hand, right hand, left hand. Yes, like a Sasquatch. Running through the forest. Uh, like a Bigfoot running through the forest, right? So it's like that old... I can't remember the, the dude's name that took the picture, but I, I think that, that Sasquatch, he was doing Lindy Charleston, he's like, <laughs> and he got caught. Like he was practicing his Charleston, right? And he's like, oh, I got caught. That's what we're gonna start, we're gonna start that rumor. So Northwest Swing Dance Company, it's so much fun, you won't believe it. Anyway, here we are. Arms are flowing, legs are flowing. So what I'm gonna do is I do the basic, I'm going to let go with my right hand and come around the side and let my hand just kind of rotate in my follower's hand. And now when the leader gets in front, I'm going to put my thumbs up. I'm going to give a slight up and in and the followers give a slight down and out. And now I'm going to go back to the basic. So leaders, you do this movement on your own because you're leading the basic Charleston. You let go with the right hand and you move yourself forward as followers continue the movement and then you turn and go back to the basic. If I can get Jackie here for a second and we can show you exactly what that looks like. So again, watch Jackie. She's just going to be here and I'm going to move up around Jackie. So we do the basic. I let go with the right hand. I move. Go around, and now I'm in front. Now, followers, here's the good news. If you were practicing with what the leader was doing, you're actually going to do the same thing, with the exception that the leader is going to lead this. So, leads, if I'm going to do the basic, I'm going to stay here connected. I'm going to keep the arms flowing. Now, 
five, six. Seven. I have to leave my partner to do the same thing you just did on your own. So remember, we did the rock step, kick step, and did a prep. So you're going to leave that rock step, kick step. See now, I pulled Jackie forward into the prep position. Now I'm going to turn her hand for the double five, six, seven, kick. Eight. Now she's in front One. for the basic. So what's really neat about tonight's lesson, regardless of if you're home solo or with a partner, we are actually both doing the exact same movement. So I'm gonna go back to the basic and the turn, the basic and the turn. Now, if you're dancing with a partner at home, you're gonna do a basic and then the leaders will go in front and then you're gonna do a basic and then the followers it leads, if you can lead your partner up in front of you, to there. If you're home alone, you do a basic and you turn, a basic and you turn. No stress. Let's do this together. Five, six. Here we go. We have a basic. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, now we prep the turn. Two, three, four, five, turn it. Six, seven, we do a basic. Five, three, five, now seven, prep the turn. One, two, three, four, five, six, and now seven, you're back to the basic. Three, three, five, 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 five. Excellent. Okay. So now. Let's take that from a, everybody get up off the couch, out of your chair, and you're going to do leader footwork. So all the leaders, you're going to start back on your left foot, and you're going to go rock, step, kick, kick, kick to cross, up, and basic. Boop, boop. Now leaders move in front. Five, six, we do seven, a basic. One, two, three, now pull four, your left six, hand seven, forward. One, pull two, the left three, hand four, forward five, six, around seven, and your basic. One, three, five, seven, Beautiful. Seven, now, poof, let's all be followers now. Let's work on being ambidextrous. So followers, remember the beginning. You have a rock, one, two, step, three, kick, four, five, kick, six, rock, seven, eight, go, nine, up, ten, and four, basic. Three, five, now the leader seven, comes around you, one, two, basic. Three, Four, five, six, now, seven, and leaders one, two, three, go and five, pull six, you up in seven, front, and, one, two, and you're back three, five, into six, your band sit. I might have done that sequence a little bit off compared to like if I did it with an actual partner, but hopefully you get the idea. Okay, let's see. We got some questions out there. Uh, da, da, de, de. Oh, yes. Good, good, good point, Shelly. Yes. Um, I, I always forget. Yeah, the arms are like, uh, yeah, the, the, the piston or the... Um, the rod on a locomotive is like. I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. <laughs> um, nice analogy. Does it switch off basic turn when you're in tandem, more than one person? Uh, I'm gonna read that again. Does it switch off basic slash turn when you're in tandem, more than one person? Hmm. I'm trying to figure that question out. Um, the we're we're keeping the same rhythm the whole time. Rock step, kick step, double kick step, left, left, right, right. We're both keeping that same rhythm while we go through these figures. Um, Tom is asking. So hopefully, Ellie, if I didn't answer that question, let me know. Uh, da -da -dee -dee. Da -da 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 -da. Tom has a question. Can you go through the lead footwork going from behind to the front in more detail? Sure. <laughs> Here I am. So when I move to the, so picture there's a follower in front of me. When I do that prep step, if I do a basic, I just kick step, leave my hip here. I kick forward and I'm still facing you. If I'm going to move up and around a partner, I'm going to let go with the right hand and I'm going to go rock step, kick step. So as I do that kick step, I turn my hip and I step here. So now I'm looking this way, right? I'm slightly in front of my partner at this point. Now I'm going to continue the rotation of my hips to get in front of my partner with the double right kick, double kick step, and now I'm in front. If Jackie can come here, you'll see that even better. So now here I am, and I'm going to do that same angle from the front. So you'll see if I do a basic, I just keep my hips square. Three, four, five, now six, I'm going to move, rock, step, kick, step, three, four, five, six, seven, and now I'm there. So if I can isolate that movement to the front, I'm here, we do the rock step, I'm going to do the kick step, rock, step, kick, step. So I literally, I know where I want to go. So I'm going to give a little whoop, 
Ah, little skip step, little scoot step there. Now I'm ready for the double right kick. Jackie's still here. I don't so know as I do that double kick, we're not connecting because I was just showing you the movement. I do the double kick, double, right, and now we're in the tandem. Now again, what I, Tom, great question, because that quality of movement, you have to lead that. Watch, I'm going to stand still so you can just kind of see. Jackie's going to do a basic behind me. She's going to go rock step, kick, and watch. I'm going to pull her. One, two, three, four. See that? So I made Jackie do the same quality of movement that I did. She had to do a little skip step to get up here, and now I continue the turn as she double kicks right, double, kick, and now we're back into this position. So good question, Tom. The, the quality of movement when you're doing your Charleston, um, again, try to work on being ambifortress, ambidirectionalness. So this one in particular, you're turning clockwise into the movement. Uh, a couple weeks ago, I think we did this really cool side-by-side -side move where we went um, counterclockwise, or if you're in Australia, anti-clockwise. Um, okay, let's see. Uh, da -da -da -dee. Okay, so Tom, I went through. Oh, Ellie says, if you have more than two people. Okay, that's hilarious because I just watched a video. Somebody posted a video of like four or five people doing – Robin. Tandem Charles. I think Robin posted it. Um, I think it was one night we were out and we just did that, or maybe you guys have been playing with that. Uh, again, don't change the basic rhythm. If there's three people doing Tandem Charleston or Shadow Charleston, Shadow, 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 first thing is grab elbows. Don't try to grab hands. Grab elbows. So it's like hand, elbow, hand, elbow, hand, elbow, hand, elbow, one, two, three, four, five. And then you're doing it, and if you're the back person, you need to get up front. You need to skip step super far, do that double kick, because you don't want to change the basic rhythm of Charleston. So I would recommend no more than 37 people in a row. Doing not right it. now. Okay. <laughs> oh, and especially not right now. No, we're not doing that for a while. So social distancing, practice solo. Okay. Uh, da -da -dee 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 -dee. John posted it. Yes. Very cool. Okay. That was a, that was a fun night. Okay. So now um, let's put some music on. Again, I'm gonna play some zonky for us and watch Jackie and I dance what we've got so far with the Z music. Okay. Do, 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 do. Hopper, don't lick the microphone. <laughs> My goodness. We're gonna do a little choo, 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 choo to Idaho. Yeah, so we talked about that quality of movement getting down in the Charleston. And again, if you walk up to a Lindy Hopper and you go, hey, they go into Charleston position. Because again, it's something you got to kind of know. If you've never, ever, ever done Lindy Charleston before, leaders, if you lead into this socially, a follower might be like, what are you doing? Um, uh, but let me show you really quick, since we talked about it earlier, just um, the importance of that up position. I can borrow Jackie again. Okay. So, because there's a lot of moves. Um, when I get into this position right here, right here, as I give that rock, I'm going to do a hand switch, rock, switch, and come up into that position. And that up creates the down, right? So if I just isolate this moment here with that right hand, um, another way you can get into tandem is just like from a jitter butter from a rock step and go rock, step, lift, and back, right? And so leaders, if I'm here, I'm going to do a... Rock step, kick, and back. 
<laughs> so you'll notice I just do a rock and a little kick and bring it back. So this is, I want to um, show you this because from a crosshand position, I can get Jackie to feel that up. But there's a lot of moves where if we're here, I might bring Jackie here to the side, right? I might bring Jackie behind me and do something. I might bring my hand to the hip, boom, 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 to the side. And so leaders, you want to be really careful when you do the Charleston that you don't bring this hand over to the side. All right? let me do that from this angle action so you can see here. So Jackie's right in front of me. Right? And if I pull this hand to the side, they're going to go to the side for like a sweetheart, a skaters, or something like that. So when you go into this, that's why the 10 count turn is nice. You get that nice stretch. You kind of pull your partner back into you. But if you're from here in this position, notice I'm going to pull Jackie in, and I'm going to keep her right in front of me. It kind of blocks me from going to the side. Yeah. So now she's right in front of me. She's my shadow. Or I'm the shadow of her, depending on which way the sun is facing, and I come down into position. And so, <laughs> boom, if we're in that position, then it's going to be really weird. So I just wanted to cover that really quickly, um, the importance of the up, creating the down, and keeping that, that little bit of a blockage or shape for the Charleston. I don't think Facebook can see our up. Um, yeah, I think Facebook, maybe our up got cut off. Uh, do you know when it was composed? What year? Uh, everybody message Garen. I have no idea. Sorry. I'm sticking we'll, with Charleston we today. Out. We can find out. We can find out. Okay. Any other questions out there? We're looking good. Okay. So now, um, now we're just going to play with doing the same turn, but I'm going to do it connected. All right. So let me put this up here because this is where you're going to need to see my arms. Okay. So now as I do this movement, I do a basic. And now I'm going to stay connected as I come in front, and I'm going to turn under my right forearm. And now I do the basic. And then I'm going to lead Jackie to go up, so my right forearm is going to come up over my head, stay connected over Jackie's head, and then come back down. Let me, I want to make sure you can see my arms on this one, so I'm going to tilt this up. Okay. So watch again. So as a leader, don't worry about the feet. You know what to do with your feet now. In Facebook land, I think my feet are cut off. Instagram, you're good. So I do a basic, arms moving. Now I stay connected, similar movement, but my right arm comes up over my head, and I go back to the basic. As I lead Jackie forward with the left hand, right arm comes up over the head, over Jackie's head, and back to the basic. The, the movement with your body is, is exactly the same, but the arms are going to be in a different position. Now, leaders, hopefully you noticed when I went in front or when you're leading your partner in front, I take my bicep and I put it in my ear because now this is going to be comfortable for your partner to still have frame as you lead them around or as you come around the bend. So you're going to be in this awkward position so that your follower doesn't get pulled off balance or off their center. So they can maintain good frame while you basically put your bicep in your ear. So watch this again. I'm going to do a basic. Basic. I'm going to move around, connect it, bicep in the ear. I do a basic. Follower is behind me. I pull the follower forward. Bicep goes to the ear and the basic. Five, six, Watch seven, that from the back. So I do a basic. One, basic. Two, three, four, five, six, Leaders seven, go around. One, two, three, Bicep five, comes to the six, ear seven, around the head. Two, three, four, five, now pull six, your seven, partner one, up. Two, three, Bicep to the five, ear six, around the head. Seven, and, one, three, and back five, to the basic. Seven. And again, remember, everyone's doing just the same footwork. Left, left, right, right, left, left, right, right. Okay. Any other questions out there? We're looking good so far. Okay, so let's do that with a partner. So watch me do this with Jackie. And again, if you don't have a partner at home, do like we did before. Do a basic and then pretend you're a leader moving in front. Do a basic and pretend you're moving a follower to the front. The arm movement is very similar, um, but you'll, you'll see the difference with Jackie. So again, the key to a good lead on this is to bring your bicep into your ear and bring it across. 
And I'm going to lead that across. If you ever watch when I social dance, when we get out there again, watch this side of my head. Like the hair here will stick out a lot because I'm leading things. And I'm, I'm just kidding. It's just whatever. Okay, here we go. So watch this. I'm doing this from the front. So I do a basic, basic. Now watch. I'm going to stay connected as I come in front over the head and the basic. Now I'm going to lead Jackie to come up and push over the head. And the only way she can keep framed is if I put that bicep in the air. So watch again. We're going to nugga nugga shuffle shuffle through this. So as I lead the left hand forward, there she goes. That's the same thing we did before. Now my right hand, bicep goes in the ear so she can keep frame right there in front. Okay, now watch. We're going to nugga nugga shuffle shuffle that again. And this time, I'm going to bring my arm in front very comfortably. I'm going to keep my elbow out here. Bicep is out here in like a, more of a natural movement rather than this movement. Now watch what happens to Jackie. Do We're going to do it slowly. <laughs> so nugga nugga shuffle shuffle. I bring her forward. And now I'm going to bring her around. Right There she goes. Go ahead, turn, babe. There you go. Excellent. Wow, that was beautiful. That's why we do it slowly. So leaders, if you move your arm from the back to the front and keep it here, you're pulling your follower's arm way over her head, or the follower's head. If you bring your arm here, then the follower maintains frame as they come around. Okay, watch that from the back. We're going to do a basic. Leader goes. Basic. Follower goes. Five, six. Here we go. Basic. Here. Now watch my arm. Bicep to the ear. Around the head. Basic. I lead Jackie up. Bicep to the ear. And now we're back to the basic. Yeah? All right. So, so far we have the 10 count turn entrance. We did a basic and then just a simple leader to the front turn. Basic follower to the front. Low hands. You let go with the right to make that motion happen. Get this back a little bit. And then we did the connected turn, two hand connected turn, leader to the front, follower to the front. Okay, uh, question. Is there anything known as reverse tandem? Or does that just mean the follower is in front? Um, Oh my goodness. Um, on the top of my head, yeah, I think the reverse tandem would be if the, if the leader is in front. Normal vanilla tandem is the leader is, is the back person, the follower is in front. That would be like normal. So a reverse tandem would be the leader or the other person goes to the front. Um, is there something you can do to avoid stepping on your partner behind you in the basic? Great question. Okay. When you get into tandem land, and this is especially important for the followers, because again, normally you get led in that 10 count turn or led in a whoever's in. up. Whoever's in front, if you're following, you're going to get led into tandem. And so if you're following, if you're the front person, so as I'm leading and we were doing some of these moves, um, when you get into the front position, what's nice is to take this foot, the left foot, and you're going to take the left foot out slightly to the side. So if you're just dancing solo, that foot goes straight back. And if you're the back person, foot goes straight back. But if you're the front person, just slightly off to the side. Now, if you're perfectly in sync, you can both put the foot straight back. And you'd be right in sync. That'll be next week. I'll actually put that on the boat. I have a little anyway. Okay. So watch Jackie really quick. If we're here, we you can go straight back. So I'm gonna be here, and if she goes straight back, we go there together. But that's kind of risky because if I don't move my foot as much, she might step on my toe. So the front person will go straight to the camera. Front person does a, does a slight movement out to the side. Right? Slight movement out to the side. Yeah, so that was a great question. But the other thing is if if you um, get into tandem, Charleston, be ready. Leader or follower, you're, you're going to step on toes. It's just kind of one of those, like, 
it, it happens, you, you know, it's just part of the territory. Um, but if you're both in sync and in rhythm, then you should be okay. And then you're good to go. Okay. Um, so if you're the, if you're the front person, step slightly to the side, where do you send the follower relative to the leader to set up the 10 count turn? Um, if there, if there, um, I'm going to do a tuck turn. So if we do a vanilla tuck turn from jitterbug, so if I'm here and I just go rock step, boom, boom, that's a tuck turn right out in front. Usually nine, usually nine times out of 10, you just send your partner in front of you. Now, even if we were dancing to a song that maybe was a little bit a different tempo and Jackie did triples, that's okay. But remember when I do the up, she's going to feel that and change her footwork accordingly. So watch, I'm going to kick, but Jackie's going to do triples going out. So boom, she's going to do triples. And then right here, I pull that leg up. Yeah, can't so, triple in the air, so. Yeah, so yeah, I literally pull her hip up, and she can't physically triple. So leaders, even if your follower is triple stepping, triple, triple, triple. oh. <laughs> you can really, again, set up your partner to be successful in going into the tandem by creating that up to the down. Is that a Pizza Planet shirt? Come on, people. Yes. Let's stay focused. Disneyland. Anyway, but there are rather there are some cool variations, of course, on the vanilla ten count turn. That could be a whole workshop in itself. Okay. All right. So far, how's Instagram then? Basic. Uh, I'm sorry. Ten count turn entrance. Basic leader disconnect right hand low turn. Basic follower low turn. Basic connected turn. Basic follower gets led in the connected turn. Let's do that with music. Here we go. Your dad gave a thumbs up. Thanks, Dad, for a thumbs up. I know you're at home doing the Charleston. <laughs> Probably just eating some elk or bear. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. A little more choo choo to choo, Idaho. Choo, 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 Idaho. Okay. Basic, leader go in front, low hands, basic, follower comes in front, low hand, basic, now leader connected to the front, follower comes in front, basic, now watch the exit, I'm here, down, up, rock, boom, boom, and boom. Okay, very cool. So, yeah. Oh my goodness. Uh, question out there. Can you do a version of tandem where you are facing your partner, but your footwork is going the same way? Uh, yes, that it was would be a slightly intermediate slash advanced movement. Um, another thing you can get into, again, we, if we continue this journey next week, um, but we can get into what's called a chase Charleston, opposing chase, and all kinds of interesting, intricate or things. Or airplane, some people call it. Or some people call it airplane Charleston, where we're going back and forth. Um, the question specifically, can you do a version of tandem where you are facing your partner but your footwork is going the same way. Well, um, yeah, maybe, I don't know if you mean this. <laughs> There's, um, if I'm going in side by side Charleston, we're taking a little tangent here for a second. Side by side Charleston, and I send Jackie in front, boom, hop, boom, hop. There's that where we're face to face, but this usually gets us into a movement called the hacksaw. Which is a whole other lesson. Don't give it away. Okay, anyway, that's a cool. We just did. <laughs> I know. We just, so there's your bonus lesson for tonight, the hacksaw. Uh, oh, the egg beater. Um, okay, yeah, let's, well, from my teacher training days, I always want to make sure I teach people the exit. So before we delve into the egg beater, thank you, Michelle. I promise, I think we're going to have time. We just won't get to a workout, but hopefully... You had a nice workout just doing these movements. 
um, or might do a little bit, maybe a little like cool down workout at the end. But let's let's go through the exit to make sure everyone has that so they have a full series, getting in a couple moves and getting out. It's pretty it's pretty simple. So when I'm here as a leader, remember I have the arms going. Huh. So when I'm going to get the exit, I want to make a very clear signal to my partner. So on the back step of the rhythm, back, I take both hands down. This is the first indication that, whoa, something different is happening. So I purposely bring both hands down on the rock step. On the kick step, I'm going to do what's called walk the baby. So I'm going to take my hands, I'm going to back up so you can see this. And on the kick step, I'm going to bring both hands up. Like I'm walking a baby. Jack is a big baby. All right, so I have both hands up. And as I do that, I'm going to release the left hand, release. And that way, Jackie's left hip goes slightly out a little further. And then you come out of it with a rock step. Now, usually coming out of it, you, you usually resolve it with like a, a rock step, pass, kick, kick, and into Lindy or Jitterbug or whatever. There's a lot of things you can do in the exit. What we're going to focus on today is doing a basic Charleston, then both hands down, walk the baby, rock, step, kick, and kick. So um, for the leaders, you're going to do rock, step, kick, step, kick, kick, both hands down, kick the left. Now this is the tricky part. As you bring the right hand down to rock, step your partner, you're going to take that left foot back again. So it's like you're going to do a rock, step, kick, Rock steps, you're going to repeat that. Followers, you're going to get like a basic jitterbug after this. You're going to get a rock step, kick step. And again, that left foot goes out. Now you're going to feel the leader bring the hand down for the rock step on your right foot as usual. And then again, we can do a pass, rock step, kick step, kick step. So watch that again with Jackie. And then we'll practice it solo again. We do a basic, basic. One, two. Now both hands down, walk the baby, rock, step, kick, kick, and you're ready to go. Watch this angle. I do a basic, basic, both hands down, up, rock, step, kick, kick. Yeah, and so again, I'm letting go. I'm going to really do it from the side this time. When I bring the hand up, I let go, let's move back a little bit so you can see the hands. I let go with the left hand so Jackie's left hip goes out a little bit further. And that's how I'm ready to do the rock step at the end. Okay? But for everybody, again, leaders, you we talked about leading into the Charleston with that nice block, keeping your partner in front of you, coming down for the Charleston. And now for super, super, super clarity on the exit, both hands down, walk the baby, release the left. Rock step. Love hack socks. I know. They're good. I think that's what I was thinking about the hack sock. Cool, Shelly. Ah, right on. That's a cool move. Also, when they do the walk the baby exit, um, usually you can do a six count after that to resolve like a full eight count of music. Yeah, yeah depending on the moves know. that you did or whatnot. Yeah. The count, don't stress too much about it. I know Tom's probably at home freaking out because <laughs> if he was paying attention, and if you've been paying attention, when you do that 10 count turn, you're on an interesting count when you go into your Charles. And so again, there's a lot of variations. There's a lot of things you can do to get in sync with the music or movements. And whatnot. So right now we're sticking with the basic 10 count entrance and um, we're good to go. Okay, so let's, uh, I think we have time to do the egg beater. Well, I'm sorry, let's, uh, for all the solo people out there, let's dance a basic and the exit. Okay, so for, for a leader, leaders are going to go basic, rock, step, kick, now the exit, both hands down, kick the left, and rock, left, kick, and kick. Again, for the leaders in this angle, basic here, now both hands down, back, up, rock, pull, kick, and kick, and you're back into whatever. If you're following, you have the basic. Basic. One, two, three, Boom. Four, five, six, you feel seven, both hands one, down. Two, three, Go out, four, feel the rock, five, pull six, across, seven, and, one, and you're back on the right foot. From this angle, followers get a basic. One, two, three, four, five. And both six, hands seven, are going to be down. One, two, Left three, hip's going to go four, further. Five, rock six, set. Seven, feel that pull. One, two. And you're back on your right foot. And again, 
once you get to that rock step point, there's, I mean, you can do whatever you want. We just typically go into the rock kick kick, keeping that same flow. Yeah, sound good? Okay, so let's dance that with music one more time. The entire little, little package, little sequence tonight, 10 count turn, basic, disconnected leader to the front, um, basic, disconnected follower to the front. Well, I should say low hands, just leading with the one hand. Basic connected turn, leader to the front, basic connected turn, follower to the front, and then our exit. Okay, here we go. Does that scare you, Eddie? Here we go. Okay, good stuff, everybody. Okay, there we go. Okay, so yes, we do have a little bit of time left for the egg beater. Okay, so the egg beater, we're going to keep the same rhythm, left, left, right, right. Let's go through the arms really slowly. Uh, let me move Facebook up. Okay, so we're here, Jackie. All right. Okay, so we're in Tandem Charleston. And now all I'm gonna do, I'm gonna think about this being an egg beater. And what I mean by that is I'm gonna have the left arm go high, the right arm go low, and I'm gonna turn this way. And then I'm gonna switch, my right arm goes high, my left arm goes low. And again, the tricky part is we're going to keep that same rhythm of left, left, right, right. So don't worry about the feet. I know in Facebook land, I think our feet are cut off. But remember, the feet are just going left, left, right, right. Now I go left, left, left right, 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 and boom. Left, left, right. Watch again. Right. Left, left, over, left, right, 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 over, boom. Left, 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 right. Right. So literally, I go back on the left, and then I think, well, as my left arm is in front, left arm goes over, right arm comes down, switch, right arm comes over, left arm comes down. Now, remember what we did earlier with the connected turn with the follower in front, the biceps go to the ear. So as I'm doing this turn, my left bicep goes to my ear, and that way Jackie can maintain frame. As I switch, my right arm comes up and my right bicep goes to my ear so Jackie can maintain frame. And again, frame is keeping your elbows bent in front of you. So while I'm being turned, I make sure that my elbow stays in front of my face instead of behind me. And now slowly, I'm going to make my arms go in what's comfortable for me. So left arm comes over. Oh, this is, I feel great. Go, go Jackie. There you go. And now my right arm, I feel really good right now. Really good. Go, go, turn. Excellent. Yeah, good. So again, leaders, be very mindful as you're doing shapes with your arms to think about the shape you want your follower to stay in. Okay, let's dance through that again. So we do a basic. Left, left. Now right, left arm right, goes left, over. Left, and right, right arm. Right. And a basic. Left, left, right, right. Let's try from this angle. So we do a basic. Left, left, right. Right. And the left. egg beater goes left. around right. all the way. Right. Left. left, right, right. From the back, we do a basic. Left, left, right. Left arm right. comes left. over. Left, right, right. And basic. Left. left, right, right. Okay, so that is the right. egg beater movement. And and again, like there are so many other movements and, and crazy things that you can do, um, connected turns, disconnected turns, going to hacksaws. I mean, the possibilities are pretty endless going to airplane or um, Chase Charleston. A po like, there's a lot of good stuff out there. Maybe I'll throw some Chase Charleston on the boat for next week and we'll see. I hope everyone's doing well out there, doing the best you can. Um, again, if you're a local dancer, um, 
as soon as the this little broadcast is over, um, check out the local Spokane Facebook groups to get in on the Zoom Shim Sham. Um, but I think we've got about six minutes left. Mm. Anybody like to do a six minute workout? Or any questions? Any questions? Da, 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 no questions. I don't know what I did. Something went wrong. Hmm. We're having trouble playing this video. Oh, never mind. There you are. There we go. <laughs> Am I still live out there, everybody? Joel's pressing buttons. Give us a thumbs up if you can see us. Give a thumbs up if everything's going well. Workout could be fun. Okay. How about like a cool down? Yeah. So workout? let's put it. Let's put the. Uh, choo choo to Idaho again, and I'm gonna work. I'm gonna work some some Lindy Charleston, um, just to kind of again reinforce what we did tonight, and then just go into some other like fun swing movements to wrap up the, the last five minutes. So, um, and actually, this song is exactly two and a half minutes. So let's do this whole song. We're gonna do this whole song, and then just take the last couple minutes to see if we have any questions night's moves um oh here we go retta has a question already jackie do you tell the leaders if they are hurting you or just limp noodle arm them hmm. <laughs> i mean that's a that's a big can of worms i mean at the end of the day i think in general i know you asked jackie but from the professional standpoint um after so many years of teaching this like followers you gotta you have to tell the leaders because it's not our intention and we're thinking about a lot of stuff and we might not be mindful of what we're doing with our arms. So we think we're doing the right thing, but if anything hurts any move, whether it's Charleston, Texas, Tommy's, whatever, I'm obviously doing it in a kind way, which Jackie's really good at, but let the leader know and encourage them to sign up for maybe like a private lesson or something to, to tweak their technique. The best thing you can do is say, ouch. That out works. If they don't get that after saying ouch, um, then if it's really hurting, you know, just respectfully say, I need to sit out, um, you know, because you definitely don't want to get hurt. Yeah. Um, hopefully they understand and aren't rude about it, um, but protect yourself. Yeah, don't, don't let yourself get hurt by someone. Um, I wouldn't say... I mean, I wouldn't say go completely noodle with my arms, but maybe I won't give as much connection yeah. just to avoid any kind of straining. Um, but yeah, definitely first step, say ouch, make sure they can hear it. And then if they're not catching on to that, then just say, I need to sit down, take a break. Um, yep. All right, let's dance. We're going to do it connected, and then uh, we'll finish. Finish off the oh, song with some workout. some workout. Yeah, what well, I would we want to do the movements oh, that we did. Jason says, please tell us leaders. Yeah. <laughs> yes, please tell us. All right, here we go, everybody. <laughs> Get off the couch if you're solo or with a partner. <laughs> Western boots, if I'm going west today, my 
Instagram cut out on me. Share my story. All right. I hope everyone's doing well out there. Once again, if you are local, uh, go over to uh, the uh, Strictly Swing groups, which is turning into Northwest Swing Dance Company or the Northwest Swing Dance Company groups. I will share the Zoom feed very quickly. We hope you enjoyed the lesson tonight. If you did, please consider donating. I can't even remember how much a regular class is, um, but if everybody can just donate a buck or two, um, that would really, 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 really help us out. We hope you enjoyed the material. We'll put the vote out there for next week, and we hope uh, you're enjoying a little bit of normalcy for Thursday evening swing. All right. Night, night. Crazy about you all.